All right, these are our pitching upgrade proje projections, predictions. Keep mixing those two words together. Uh, for the roster update coming out September 9th. Got an interesting group here. We got some relievers, got some studs, got one diamond that we're pushing up even higher. So we'll see who that is. Let's go ahead and dive in with a guy that we've been putting on the list recently and it still hasn't happened. And I don't get it. You know, when Edwin Diaz wasn't out, it's because he wasn't in, in the system. They couldn't put him in the game. This guy's in the game. He's dominating. Where's the update for CJ Edwards? Let's go. This has been incredible. Carl Edwards Jr. is what he goes by on like baseball reference and fan graphs now. But he used to go by CJ Edwards, which probably stood for Carl Jr. Uh, he was on the list uh, July 29th. That's the last time I put him on the upgrade list. Since then, 2.7 hits per nine, 3.4 walks, 14.4 Ks, and not a single homer. I mean, I'm giving him an obscene upgrade, y'all. Okay? Stick with me. 71. And just a little upgrade on the walks. Like, his walk rate's not great, but he's been better uh, than he was as a starter. He really struggled with, with walks as a starter. So he's been he's been good. And 3.4 since uh, over the last month plus, about a month and a half, that, that's workable. So And that's still below average with that rating. So we can, that, we can do that. His velocity needs to be moved up, too. Dude throws 95. So we'd really like to see that. I don't know what his runners in scoring position is. I'm going to look at it. Is that the kind of guy I am? I want to see how he's been. Because he, I feel like he's going to deserve an upgrade there, too. Because with the numbers that he has, he almost certainly has excellent work with runners in scoring position. I'd be really surprised if, like, I mean, he's given up nine runs in 28 innings. They're, like, all in runners in scoring position. And he really falters there. We'll see. Time will tell here on Baseball Reference. And 479 OPS with a 107 batting average. We can get that up to at least 65. At least. Absurd. Utter absurdity with what he's been doing. I don't know where his upgrade is. I hope it's coming. He goes from a 60 to a 99. There he goes from 75. So that's a 15 point upgrade. We've seen upgrades this big. Don't don't be put off thinking no way they won't they won't upgrade him that much. You know, I know the tendency can be sometimes to want to be conservative with what they're gonna do, but some of these bron uh, some of these commons, they'll they'll jump them way up there after a nice chunk of uh, a big performance. Probably upgrade his break too. I mean the dude has filthy stuff. So I didn't get into the pitches too much. I just upgraded that velocity, but he needs to be he needs to be upgraded there as well. Um, but yeah, then all of a sudden you're talking about you know someone you can use in the Rust tournament that we've been doing on our uh, Twitch chat there, where you use 23 bron uh, 22 commons and three bronzes. All of a sudden you can start using CJ, staying on his team. User requested multiple times. Justin Grimm, time for an upgrade. Last 20 appearances, 4.5 hits, 1.5 walks, 13 strikeouts, and a half a homer. It's pretty good stuff right there. Let's go 13. 11 and a half strikeouts since the start of last year. That's 11th among relievers, minimum 90 innings. Moving this way up. 6.4 hits per nine this year. He has a 1.4, or excuse me, 199 batting average against since the start of last year. That's 16th among those relievers with 90 innings or more. That's awesome. Are you kidding me? Summers are decent. 0.5 in the last 20 appearances, but nothing that really needs to move the needle. And his walk rate uh, has been good. I'm going to move it up here, but I'm, I'm not going to go crazy with it because the overall walk rate is still, it's all right. It's not 
It still has some issues every once in a while. Let me see what his season is at right now. Because I know lately he hasn't been walking people. But I didn't write down his season number. No, take your time, Internet. I got, I got nothing to do. No, I'm not busy. I'm never going to get it. By the way, this, uh, this is another good example, uh, Justin Grimm, that kind of shows you how, you know, I don't want to diminish the difficulty of it overall, but how much easier it is to start, I mean, to, to relieve than it is to start. My computer is going absolutely haywire right now. This is tremendous. Doesn't frustrate me at all. I'm very cool with it. Moving forward. 76. So it goes 71 to 76. Still bronze, but much better. Going into the starters. Ivan Nova. This is not a crazy upgrade because he's been, he's been, doing, he's been doing a little bit. I'm just going to hit up the um, the hits and walks is really where he's going to get his upgrades here. Let's see. So with Pittsburgh, 8.4 hits per nine, 1.0 homers, a half a walk per nine innings, and 6.8 Ks. So here's what we're doing. We're going five on the hits, still just a 59, but 12 on the walks. It's got a career best hits rate, but it's only 37 in the third innings with them. So we got to chill a little bit. Plus, let's be honest, 8.4 walk uh, hits per nine, it's not that great. Like, so, you know, even though it is the best of his career so far in this in this short time span, it's still not something that we're, we're really going too crazy over. So that's where I'm at with, uh, with Ivan Nova. We'll just see what that does. Just a, just a little tick of an upgrade there from 73 to 76 for Nova. Next up, Kevin Gaussman. Let's see what we've got going here. All right, just the Ks and walks for him. There you go, seven there. Ten on the walks. Oh, wait, that ten on the walks was uh, for Nova. He's sixth in the last 30 days with a 10.6 strikeouts per nine. He has a career high 9.1 for the season, so he's been really good. Uh, he's 35th in all of baseball since the start of last year with 2.4 walks per nine. So he doesn't walk guys. He gives up too many homers, but he doesn't walk guys, and he's finally starting to get strikeouts. So I'm for, I, for one, am pretty happy to see some success from Kevin Gaussman. I was talking earlier on the hitter upgrades about some, some hitters that are kind of keeping teams in the thick of it. Baltimore pitching staff is not great, and uh, Dylan Bundy has kind of fallen back on some hard times, probably hitting a little bit of a rookie wall. Gaussman's been a stabilizing force. He's just going to go into the low 80s. Yeah, 81. So not, not a crazy upgrade, not a, uh, a level-changing upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. Now let's get into the bullpen here for Nate Jones. Ooh, Nate Jones. He was upgraded on May 20th, but actually took a hit in his strikeout rate, by the way. Since then, 6.8 hits, 1.8 walks, 11.4 strikeouts, and 1.1 homers. So here's what we're doing. We're going 8 there. We're going 12 on the walks. And we're going 4 on the strikeouts. Homers, we'll leave it. Here's what we got. He's got a career best 1.9 walks per nine. That's um, and he's 18th in both strikeout rate and walk rate among relievers since the start of last year. Uh, that's a minimum of I think 60 innings. I can't remember exactly because he only pitched 20 innings last year. So maybe it was 70 because I think he has 50 something this year. So minimum 70 innings. So I has to look. Oh, minimum 80 innings. I did write it down um, because he he didn't play all of last year. But he's got an excellent 6.0 hits per nine. Uh, it was at 5.7 last year. He has a 184 average since the start of last year, which is 12th 
among those relievers with 80 innings. So he's been awesome. We already know that he's awesome, and everyone already uses him. This is just going to make it better for you. But also a goal, so it's going to change the dynamic a little bit. Maybe make him a little bit tougher to gain in BR. This might actually be a net negative move in terms of the value that we've been able to extract from him being a uh, silver in terms of battle royale. So, but he deserves an upgrade, and it could be interesting to see him as a filthy, filthy gold, getting even some some better numbers there. All right, back to starters. Chris Archer. I don't know how many anybody. How many people would have thought that he was going to get an upgrade anytime soon after he got his downgrade on July 15th? Like, he deserved the downgrade. It didn't look like there was going to be any reason to get him back on the upgrade train. Alas, here we are. Since that downgrade, 6.8 hits, 1.8 walks, 11.2 strikeouts, and 0.8 homers. So we're going to bump this back up. He's second in the last 30 days in, in Ks per nine, fifth in 2016, and third since the start of 2015. He's a strikeout monster, so 89 fits. Uh, he's right up there with the with the elite strikeout guys among starters now. His walks. So he got a downgrade. Um, he's lost 11 points this year. We're going to give him eight of it back. I think that's fair. And then for his hits, we're going to give him the, the full downgrade that right back. He, he lost six. We're giving it back. Home runs, they have to stay static. He's still not really. I mean, point eight since his downgrade isn't bad, but nothing that, uh, that can move the needle just yet. But either way, this should easily get him back into gold. Yep, 86. Sticking with starters. Yeah, Cal Hendricks, who we're revisiting. Uh, he was upgraded on July 15th. Since, since then, 6.4 hits, 1.9 walks, 8.0 strikeouts, 0.8 homers. So we're going five here. Seven on the walks. And three on the strike. I mean, he's having a great year, and the hits per nine is really where he's excelling. He doesn't walk, guys. I mean, they could really move this up to maybe 80 if they wanted to kind of reflect this year and, and really what he's been able to do. I mean, he's not a great pitcher once you get to the upper levels of this game because he just doesn't have the velocity. You see 88 right there. But in real life, I mean, he's, he's a really good pitcher. So he's already gold, so we're not going to change the level here, but we're going to bump him up to an 87. Another gold who's not going to move into diamond, but is pitching very well and does, uh, does deserve an upgrade. Let's see here, I got to put my controller in there, sorry. Justin Verlander deserves another upgrade. Can you believe it? Oh my god, he's so good. Yeah, he's so good. I agree. Wow, everyone agrees. Interesting. Um, he was upgraded on August 5th. Since then, 6.3 hits, 1.3 walks, 10.3 Ks, 1.7 homers. Too many homers, obviously. We'll get to that in a minute. Couple points on the hits, minus five on the homers, plus four on the strikeouts, plus three on the walks. Pretty simple. I mean, since July 24th of last year, okay? That's really when he kind of turned it around, started establishing his high fastball again, had gotten past the triceps surgery that he had earlier in the year. From about that point, that's when he really started to turn it on. He's seventh in batting average, 208 average against a 252 league average. He's 13th in strikeouts, 28th in walks, and 42, 42nd, excuse me, in homers. So, you know, we got the homers down. Everything else should be pretty good, and it looks like it is. Um, I mean, Justin Verlander is not back to the MVP Cy Young guy, but he's back. I mean, he's, he's a beast. It's only a one-point upgrade, but it's deserved, and I would like to see it. Anything that can make him incrementally better, I'm down for it. All right, two more here. Carlos Carrasco, another guy we are revisiting a little bit here. He was upgraded on July 8th. 
since he's given up 8.3 hits per nine, not great, but it's okay. We're not going to get too hung up on it. 1.9 walks, excellent. 10.2 Ks, excellent. 1.2 homers, too many. I don't think that the hits or homer issues, uh, that he's, and, and they're not even issues, but the fact that they're kind of blah, they're not bad enough to deserve a downgrade, so we're just going to leave them flat. Instead, we're going to go plus fives here and here. Just bumping him up. Uh, he leads baseball over the last 30 days in strikeouts per nine and walks per nine at 12.8 and .6. That's right, .6 walks per nine. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So that, that moves him up to an 87. Um, he's so good. He probably is better than an 87, but we just got to keep moving up. I hope he closes really strong, and I don't think he could – he'd have to go, like, berserk and, you know – Start at least seven innings, uh, you know, finish at least seven innings in each of his final f couple starts with like a shutout, you know, not allow more than like a one earned run per start with like, I think he's probably got four starts on with like 45 Ks or 50 Ks and two walks or something. And then he can get diamond. That's, it would take something like that. But I think he can get a nice upgrade. He should wind up probably around 91 for the year. Or 90. Somewhere around there. But for now, 87. We'll get there. All right, last guy here is Diamond, who just deserves some, some touch-up. Now, I don't know about y'all, but this is not a great Diamond for me. I do not pitch all that well with this Penley Jansen. I actually prefer the, um, the Prime version, or the Rookie version. That gold one, interestingly enough, I prefer because the pitch selection is better without too much damage to the uh, to the per nines. I think the, the walks per nines takes the biggest hit. But maybe with these upgrades, we can, he becomes usable uh, for me again or something. I don't know. But it's time to just pop this up to 99. I don't know what we're doing here. He's got 4.6. Hits per nine uh, is a four-year best for him. He's second in average uh, in the league since 2015 to only Wade Davis. He's got a 162, and Wade Davis has a 161. So why isn't he a 99? It's homers. He go up to 72. Career best, 0.4 homers per nine. That's 25th among qualified relievers. And he doesn't... Really ever he's never really had a homer issue. Here's where the big upgrade comes, right? We're gonna go all the way up to 89. His 1.4 walks per nine is second since 2015. It's really really good. So let's see what this does for Kenley. Gets him to a 97. I agree with that. I think mean, that uh, that should be done. I don't know if I would do well with him still. Problem is, is the three pitches, there's not a lot of diversity in them, right? If anything, it's like a spectrum. It goes four seam, cutter, slider. Like, you know, you got the four seam that, that does its thing, maybe a little bit of wiggle, a little bit of uh, arm side run. But then you got the cutter that's going to have some break but be faster. And then the slider, which is just got the more cut with a little bit less block. like it's just not hard to pick up on those three pitches is, is my main point um, but yeah it's almost like a, just like I said like a progression where you can just kind of see it it starts to move a little bit more at a little bit slower speed but not anything that is all that difficult to catch up to not like with Batances who's you know throwing four seamers cutters and then that sl that slur that is just absurd that gets you out in front so badly you know I don't feel that way with the slider here maybe that's why I don't have success with him but if you did get an upgrade like this I would definitely try out Kenley Jansen so we'll see how those go again come by the twitch twitch.tv slash peace 24 on Thursday nights we stay up all the way until the update and hopefully we got a good one this week